know, this is one of my favorite to topics that I talk about when I go around giving agronomy presentations. And it's it's really good to just initially set the stage um, to so we're on the same page of what PGRs are meant for and what they do inside of plants, right? So, so there are PGRs that are meant for early season. So let me just write these down real quick. Um, and these early season PGRs, are all about setting the stage for success for plants as they get into those mid-season uh, vegetative growth stages. So bear with me just a moment. So a lot of these that you'd be familiar with in the industry today, some of the more popular ones, are uh, kinetin. Kinetin is synthetic cytokinins that we see a lot of out of, out of seaweed extracts. There's also, uh, IBA, uh, which is indole butyric acid. Indole butyric acid is all about rooting. And then there's um, other ones like gibberellic acid. So I'll just abbreviate here. So to, to break these down, kinetin is all about driving cell differentiation. So increasing the, the rooting and the branching above ground. So that's an early season application, although kinetin I'll talk about again in the late season application. Indobuteric acid is all about root establishment. So if you think about roots, it's not just um, stimulating the branching, but more about the fine root hairs that are put on in each of the branches. You know, it's not them big stems or them branches underneath the ground. It's the root hairs that drink the water and drink the nutrients and take up that nutrition into the plant. So the combination of these two work on root hairs and root hair viability, keeping them on that, that root system for a longer period of time. As you look at gibberellic acid, gibberellic acid is more about elongating cells and getting that shoot above ground, that plant biomass to take off rapidly and get that plant to grow, so stimulate growth. So these are all EPA registered true plant growth regulators. Some of us call them plant growth stimulants. Um, so those would be early season. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, if you're using these technologies today, I believe that they do a great job in all crops, helping set the stage for success as we go throughout the growing season. So I think these are important to use. Um, today, there's a lot of competitive products that are out there. I encourage you guys to continue to use products like these because they do a phenomenal job. Now, when it comes to late season PGRs, it's a whole different uh, conversation. So let me just kind of list out some of these. So I'll start with kinetin again, because again, it can be used late season. There's uh, compounds like choline chloride. And then I'm gonna abbreviate here and call it GABA. GABA is gamma aminobutyric acid. So if you break these down, we talked about kinetin. Kinetin drives cell differentiation. So in late season, think about soybeans, for example. In soybeans, when it starts to go in reproductive stages, when it starts to flower in that late June timeframe, those soybeans are still gonna continue to grow and they're still gonna continue to branch and they're still gonna put on flowers. So kinetin will drive that cell differentiation. It'll increase branching, it will increase flowering and the, ultimately the reproductive sites. Choline chloride and GABA in a combination work together to reduce ethylene glycol inside of a plant. You know, in much of, much of North America, when it gets late summer, Mother Nature starts to turn off dry and it starts to turn off hot and it throws a lot of stresses and plants' immediate stress response is to, to boost ethylene inside of a plant and go into a stress mode. The combination of these two will reduce stress and allow that plant to keep metabolizing. These two will support photosynthesis and allow that factory to continue to producing, producing acetate along the way. It will also build proteins. The big thing about building proteins is as we're in reproductive time frame, as nutrients move source to sink, that, that source being the, the plant matter itself, be the tissue, the, the, the leaves or the stalk, and they want to move into the sink, into that grain, into that pod, into that bowl, into that head. That's, that's important to have these building proteins because that's where your yield comes from and that's where your test weight comes from. So the combination of these two work really, really well. If you look at Onward, 
onward is all three of these, a combination of kinetin, choline chloride, and GABA. Onward is designed to support that late season, to drop the stress on that plant and allow that plant to continue to, to manufacture and, and photosynthesize and produce as much as it possibly can. Mother Nature loves to, you can, you, you can do everything right, and Mother Nature loves to steal yield from you at the end of the year. Onward will help prevent that, and onward will allow that plant to keep going. You know, Onward by itself does a great job of retaining yield. I tell folks that with our genetic potential that we have today, that if you retain that yield, you need nutrition inside that plant, inside that plant to make sure that you meet your optimum, you know, your, your yield potential. Onward is something that is part uh, of a complete program. It complements a complete plant nutrition program. And it's truly a spark that, that lights the flame in a plant, whole plant nutrition program.